I was fairly sure that the Daily Mail would not report the cardboard boat race from yesterday. I could understand why they would want to do Caesarean Sunday from a few weeks ago because they could complain about all of the drunk Cambridge students causing chaos and havoc near young children in parks. But a cardboard boat race, there's nothing bad about that. But they've proved me wrong. Students at Cambridge University cause chaos on the river in homemade boats made from cardboard boxes and gaffer tape to mark the end of exams. How... <laughs> A boisterous parody of the Oxford-Cambridge boat race. Hundreds watched 30 teams drink cider as they cobbled together their cardboard boats using glue and gaffer tape. Brightest minds in the country, but these students at Cambridge University couldn't resist causing a bit of chaos. <laughs> Says everyone who lost swam back to shore and picked up a beaker of beer. This happens every year, as far as I'm aware. They spent the morning constructing their boats on Jesus Green. They haven't quite got the facts right. Uh, these boats, most of them, I think, took weeks of preparation. Every caption, they get something in there about beer. Sipped on cans of Foster's Lager as they try desperately to stay afloat. There's the Queen's Mathmo boat, just before it's sunk. The Caesarean Sunday articles often have quite a lot of negative comments uh, from people who agree with the Daily Mail. It's like saying, it's shocking that our future politicians are drinking. <laughs> but there are just no bad comments on this article. Someone's got a lot of luggage. Jesus. I think it might be all of the international people uh, putting all of their stuff in a big pile to be taken somewhere to be stored over summer. Usually people who are from other countries, they obviously can't take all of their stuff home on a plane, that would be a bit inconvenient. So usually they get extra storage space in college compared to the people like me who live in this country. We have to take our stuff home. But they're doing work around college this summer and there's not going to be enough space. So all of their stuff, I guess, is going somewhere else, but I don't know where. They're just piling it up outside at the minute. Lots of tourists have just come in the gate while it was open, and now it's closed behind them. People aren't allowed to wander into college like that. It's kind of annoying when people do. I know it's not quite the same, but it's similar to feeling to somebody just wandering into your garden or into your house, taking photos. And this is, I know it's a Cambridge college, but it's still where I live. A lot of the time, tourists are allowed in if they go through the porter's lodge and they pay. But you can't just wander in through a, a gate straight into accommodation like this. I'm going to the Queen's Natural Science Society garden party today, which is just over there. Got some food this exciting garden party. It's Trinity's May Ball right now. This is a microwaved burger. It looks nice. Not sure how it'll taste though. It's very soggy. It's not too bad actually. It comes with this weird orange sauce. It doesn't say what it is, but it just tastes like everything you would usually get in a burger. Listen to those fireworks. I don't know which May Ball is tonight. I can't see them either, but they sound good. Good morning guys, today I don't really have any plans at all, um, I was hoping the weather would be a bit nicer so I could go and get some shots of the computer lab to use in vlogs, but it's not very nice and I wouldn't like to get all the way out to the lab with my camera and tripod and have it start raining. So I might leave that until tomorrow and do some editing of other videos instead. Uh, I've got. I've got one uploading right now, the supervision that I've filmed. So you can find that on YouTube if you want to see 
a supervision, a real life supervision at Cambridge. I'm also going to do the tour of my room this week and what else? I've got a list of them over there. The day in the life of a Komsky, except I don't know how that's going to turn out. I might not use it. But I need to do that this week in case I need extra shots because I can't really get those when I'm back at home. And apart from that, I just sit and worry about my results, which I'll be getting in two days. A big bee just came in my room. How do I get this out? This is such a noisy family. They shouldn't even be in here, as usual. They can't figure out how to open the gate again. Oh, little girl's gonna try. Oh, giving up already? Okay, let's see if Dad can do it. Maybe this will teach them to not wander into colleges. This is where my results are going to appear on Friday. At the minute it's just blank. No grade yet. My actual mark and the rank. So I get told where I come in the year. Last year, I'll show you my results from last year. Last year I was 64th out of 83 Comskys. Uh, with 209.65 out of 375. And that gave me a 2-2. Two -two. And then I got the scores for all the different papers down here. Hopefully, I've got at least a 2-2 again. A 2-1 would be nice. It would be nice to be higher up out of in the year. Um, a better rank than 64th. But I don't know. I'll wait and see. Having pasta for dinner today. I'd like to say I made it myself, but unfortunately, Mr. Supermarket made it for me. With some help from Mr. Microwave. But it's going to be nice anyway. And I've got a chilled bottle of beer. And Top Gear to watch. I'm editing the vlog uh, from when we went to the Trinity Formal and not all of this is going on YouTube but this is so funny to watch I'm just really drunk by this point and I started vlogging in my attempt at a Scottish accent, a Scottish accent. Um, so I, th I think I'm going to cut a lot of this out before it goes on YouTube <laughs> but this is hilarious to watch There's chaos outside with vans and trucks and cars everyone's going home today since residency ends. People keep parking there, um, which is just next to the entrance, which is really convenient for them, but it stops all of these trucks getting out. And that porter is getting very angry. I'm watching Storage Wars and listen to this guy. <laughs> it's Friday and two things are happening today. Firstly, I'm going to help my director of studies film some sort of fake interview um, to go on the Queen's Komsky website to show people what an interview is like here at Queen's. And secondly, I get my results today. I'm a bit nervous and excited. I don't know what to expect. Still nothing yet. I don't know what time they're going to appear here. But one time when I refresh, this will be full of my results. I'm not sure exactly what the plan is with this fake interview filming. Um, we didn't decide on much the other day when we discussed it and I'm not sure what my director of studies is expecting me to take to be able to do this so I'm taking tripod, big bag full of stuff, another bag full of stuff then I'll have everything that I need on the interview, I think it went okay it was really weird, I was being interviewed, I was the interviewee um, so I was trying to pretend to be a, like an A-level student interviewed by this is one of my supervisors um, and you can't really see him because he's leaning back too much this is my director of studies and he interviewed me for real he gave me one of my real interviews when I was applying now I just wait for my results not of course from that interview that wasn't real um, but my my results from this year they're still not here I've been refreshing all day Maybe we'll get them at 12 o'clock. It is 12 o'clock. Still no results. This is awful. I should probably start packing. And now anyway, I've got nothing packed except the video stuff I just took up to my DOS's office. And I'm leaving in exactly 24 hours. I'll get kicked out of this room tomorrow at 12. And this is suitable music. While I wait for my results, 
it's a 2-1 and I was ranked 43 out of 80 people in the year. So I'm about halfway and a 2-1 is, I expected a 2-2, 2-1 if I was lucky, so I'm pretty pleased with this. Got the results for each individual paper as well, um, it's all out of 100, very little, quite a bit, 68, 43, 82, so I did well on paper 5, and 53. Darwin seems to be having some sort of May Ball tonight. Uh, these people have been queuing for hours and they're finally going in. The queue is its pretty long, it goes all the way up the street. Certainly not as long, um, both in terms of length and time waiting, as the like St John's and Trinity May Balls. People queue for so long to get into those. As I mentioned before, Queen's only has a May Ball every two years, so we didn't have one this year. Um, I could have gone to another college's May Ball, but I, I just decided not to bother. Last year, Queen's had their centenary May Ball, the 100th May Ball. Um, I have a video about that from a year ago, if you want to go and watch it. That was that was really good May Ball. I think if I went to something like that uh, this year, it would be a bit of a letdown compared to Queen's, to be honest. <laughs> this garden party over the road has had this horrendous music for maybe like an hour now and it's driving me mad. I wish they would shut up. It's just like drums, it is so repetitive. They do not stop. Jesus Christ. You think they've stopped. Or maybe they have stopped this time. No. They're at it again. <sighs> so annoying. Well this is my last day in Cambridge for this year and my last day in this room. I've got about two hours to pack and then leave before housekeeping turn up and get angry. I hope you've enjoyed these videos. If you have, please subscribe. There will be more coming soon. Thank you ever so much for watching and I will see you next time.